Kim.com has accused the US government of misleading the courts over pirated material on his mega upload website. In a submission to a federal court in Virginia filed yesterday, Mr. Dotcom's lawyer Ira Rothkin said mega upload was asked not to remove 36 pirated files from its servers, stored there by another video website which was under investigation. Mr. Rothkin says those files were later used to obtain the search warrants which resulted in the mega upload files being seized. We provided evidence that the Department of Justice misled the court into taking down the entire mega upload site. Uh, in that submission, uh, mega upload argued that the DOJ, in a secret proceeding to take down the site, had claimed that mega upload failed to remove 36 pirated movies from its servers for more than a year. What the DOJ didn't tell the court was that it knew all along that Mega Upload was asked by the DOJ to cooperate in an investigation of Mega Upload customers uh, who were the target, and that Mega Upload was asked to preserve all the data, to preserve those files, to keep the investigation confidential, and to do nothing to tip off anybody to the investigation. So Mega Upload cooperated with the DOJ and the DOJ then turned around and used that cooperation as evidence or purported evidence of criminal wrongdoing. We believe that it's unfair. We believe it's deceptive. And uh, given that that's the core evidence that the court relied on, in our view, in taking down the entire site, um, we believe that the court ought to remedy the situation. Are you suggesting that there's misconduct here? Uh, we believe that the uh, Department of Justice misled the court. Uh, we leave it up to the court to decide whether or not that's misconduct or not. Now, this is part of a broader case about the whole mega upload issue, is it not? It is. This so-called evidence of the 36 or so alleged pirated movies is part of the indictment. And so uh, this brings into question the validity and the integrity of what the Department of Justice said and did in these secret proceedings where mega upload wasn't allowed to have a lawyer. Of course, New Zealand's played a very key role in this. Do you think that the New Zealand authorities were appropriately informed by the authorities in the United States? We'd like to get some transparency into that. We certainly have uh, tried to get discovery in New Zealand. Fortunately, the judiciary in New Zealand at least twice has ordered discovery. Uh, that's being appealed right now, and we look forward to, uh, to a resolution of that issue. What do you hope will be achieved by this latest submission? We're looking for justice. We're looking for the court to go ahead and provide a remedy. Uh, right now, this was done in the context of the return of consumer data. If the court finds that the Department of Justice acted in a way that misled the court, uh, the court could provide a remedy. That remedy could be anything from some equitable basis for getting consumers back their data to the return of the seized property, which essentially is the domain names for megaupload.com and its uh, sister sites. This whole thing is, of course, about more than just getting people their data back. This is about giving Kim.com back everything he had before, isn't it? Well, ultimately, you know, given the notion that the core evidence that the Department of Justice is relying on appears to be tainted, uh, certainly this would, would go to uh, exonerating Mr. Dotcom and the other defendants. Exonerating him how? By demonstrating uh, their innocence. The core evidence the Department of Justice relied on in taking down the mega upload site, in our view, is misleading. This evidence is mirrored in the indictment, and we believe that uh, this is demonstrating that the United States is, uh, is not acting uh, with great accuracy in the way they went about doing their investigation and in what they did in these secret proceedings with a judge where we couldn't be there to argue. Kim.com's San Francisco-based lawyer Ira Rothkin.